Good evening, wherever you guys are in the world. I hope you're having a good day. If you're new here, my name's Ruby Alice and I do travel and fashion videos. And today's video is another haul, which I do regularly on this channel. And I'm gonna be doing a nasty gal haul again. I did one four weeks ago, so it's like a monthly recurrence. So if you wanna see exactly what I've got in this haul and see what I've tried on, then please stay tuned. And if you're interested in seeing travel and fashion videos, then don't forget to click the subscribe button because I will be bringing out more videos and I'll be trying to do that every week or every other week. So yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna get straight into this video and I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to thumbs up this video before we even get into it and subscribe to my channel and become a part of the family. Join us all, sit down, get your coffees, get your teas, whatever, and enjoy the film. So this first piece is a leather look skirt and it's black, it's midi length. My first impressions when I got it out was like, whoa, that looks like kind of big because I bought from Nasty Girl before in my last haul, but during the time that I was trying on those clothes, I thought actually they are a little bit tight, but maybe I had like the Christmas aftermath but you know how your body is after christmas and you feel like the clothes are getting a little bit tighter because you just ate all that chocolate and all that good food that's how i was feeling and i just wasn't like loving my body either like i do love my body but just at that time i was thinking i felt a little bit bloated during this purchase i thought i'm just gonna get everything the next size up so that it fits me a little bit more hugging me and i've got more room to move obviously i've not tried it on yet so i don't really know what it looks like but me looking at it oh and there's like no stretch to it. I just think maybe it's gonna look a little bit big in places, a little bit baggy. And I don't really like baggy clothes. So maybe I'm just gonna have to put up with like the tightness and not being able to move if I want that smooth look. So we'll see. I'm really not sure about it. The material actually looks really great. You know how I feel about the quality for Nasty Gals. I'm kind of liking it so far. So what would I pair with this skirt? I would probably pair for Valentine's specifically, probably a red heel. And I would probably pair it with the top that I'm gonna show you next. So this is a shiny leather black bandeau top and it's got like the bra detailing so the stitching on the front here there's a silver key in the middle with a ring on it and i really like that detail to it actually when i've seen it and i've seen it on quite a lot of the pieces on the website and i really like the look of it what do you guys think to this and that's the back when i got it out of the bag i was a bit again because i went a size up i was a bit like oh I'm not too sure whether that's gonna fit me. I feel like it's gonna fit me in some places, but not in others, like. <sighs> that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna, I'll try it on and I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like. As you can see, I've got the leather skirt on with the leather at top. I'm actually really loving how it looks. Like, I do think it's really sexy, but. I'm not too sure, I just feel like it's a little bit too much. I always say this, don't I? I always buy really sexy stuff and I'm like, <laughs> it's way too much, it's not something I would wear. <laughs> but like, I see it and I'm like, ooh, girl, that looks so good. I mean, just on me, I don't really know. I don't really know, what do you think? Leave a thumbs up if you like this one. One thing I will say is, you know how I was saying about the top that I'm gonna need to get something to fill it out? This is exactly what I meant when I said fill it out. Without wearing my bra, I wouldn't be able to fill this out so I'd probably get a size down because I just need it to be like a little bit tighter on the waist sort of thing so that I can feel like I can walk around and it's not going to fall down but I know that with this size I'm going to have to keep pulling it up just because at the bottom it's not really cinched enough it's not gripping to my body enough for me to actually want to wear it out but if you guys are liking this outfit let me know what you think the next piece that I've got is this red it's more like a dark burgundy red or maroon type color vinyl effect leather look dress and it's got these really tiny straps i get a bit nervous when dresses come with these straps because i get a bit skeptical and if they break then it's like not good it's really not good however if it was to break if they were to snap i would still wear it just as it is 
so long as it fitted me. I feel like it might just be a little bit too big for me. So I will have to wear a strapless bra with this so that I fill the top half out. I don't really mind the bottom part being loose because obviously you need room to move when you're wearing a vinyl dress. And the worst thing is, is feeling sweaty and tight and like you can't move about or you can't have a dance when you're in this type of dress. So it's really important to probably actually go a size up if you need a belt, wear a belt with it. That's why I always look for those key things like belts, pockets, um, just little bits that I think they're the sort of things that I would like in the clothes that I'm going to buy. But yeah, I would just wear this and I would piece it with a flat bag, the same as what I've shown you in this haul, which I'm going to link down below. It's just like a black snake skin bag and I wear this all the time. It's got like a silver ring on it and I think that's really cute. Or I could wear it with gold and go for like gold heels and a gold bag and gold hoops. What do you guys think? What would you pair with this dress? And I'll show you me wearing it now. What do you think it looks like on me? Do you like it? I'm not really too sure about it. I'm a bit like, hmm, does it look good? Should I wear it? Should I keep it? Or should I send it back? I am pleasantly surprised by this piece. I think that it's so nice and hugging actually. I really thought that it was just gonna be really straight and boxy just because when I got it out I thought like my body shape is not like that. How is it gonna like fit to my waist and things like that? Before I like tried it on I was really thinking it's not gonna look good on me, but it actually looks all right. What do you guys think? I'm actually loving the material as well. It's breathable, I can move around in it. And I think that it has like a nice shape up here. I'm really liking it. It's got like a 90s feel to it. I feel like kind of earlier vibes. What do you guys think? I'm feeling like all 90s and sick and just like. <laughs> so I'd 100% wear this as a Valentine's Day dress. But I'm just trying to think. I'm not too sure what sort of event I would be going to. Maybe if you like going clubbing with your man, then. Or if you just want to dress up and look cute and just like chill in the house or whatever and come down in this, it's all sexy. Maybe wear it for that too, so. I feel like these straps are a little bit irrelevant. I mean, you can't really see them anyway. <laughs> Is it necessary? Probably not because it's not really like uplifting or holding anything in place, but I just feel like it's super cute. Super sexy, super Valentine's. So let me know what you guys think. This skirt I am absolutely loving. Love, 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 love. And I'm 100% gonna keep this. It's a dark tan leather look skirt with buttons. That's the word, turtle style buttons. And you can't undo the buttons on them. So it's just as it is. There's zip detailing on the back. So you can unzip it and zip yourself up. And it does have a little bit of a stretch to it, but not much. The stretch is more in the bottom part. Mm. There, do you know what? There's no stretch in this, actually. That's the only thing with Nasty Girl, compared to, like, Pretty Little Thing. Find that the clothes on Nasty Girl don't have stretch, so you do really need to buy true to your size. I got a size medium. A small is, like, a 6 to 8. And honey, I am not a size 6 to 8. So this skirt is one of the pieces that I really felt like I knew that I would end up buying and wearing. I really love how it looks. I think that the detailing is really cute and that the colour is really nice. Sorry that I keep looking at my viewfinder. I keep it keeps like going blurry every two seconds. So I have to like look at it to check that I'm still in focus. Otherwise I'm never gonna be able to record this video. So I do really apologise for that. When I get a cameraman I will I will I promise I will look at, directly at you guys. But I don't have one yet. But we're gonna get there, aren't we guys? We'll get there one day. <laughs> um but yeah, I really love the skirt. Definitely gonna keep this, gonna wear this out when I end up going abroad and living abroad. I think this is super cute. You can match it, like make it really dressy or make it really casual. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the lace top. I'm a bit worried to get that on because I'm not really sure about it. I feel like it might just be a little bit stretchy, but we'll see. So, Sexy, so cute, but I had to get it in a size large. I already knew before I got it off the website that a medium or a small would not fit me. And when this came as a large, it just tells you who their target market is. And that's one thing that I don't really love is like when a website doesn't have much like inclusivity and when a size large is somebody who's a size 10 to 12 and that's still a small size. It's kind of like confusing. I mean, I haven't tried it on, so maybe it might be a little bit baggy for me and it might stretch more to somebody a size 14. I think other websites are a bit more size inclusive so 
I do prefer to buy from places like that because that means that everybody is catered for and everyone can go and purchase from there and feel confident that the clothes have been made to fit them too. With this brown skirt, I'm gonna pair it with this beautiful lace bodysuit. I think it's really lovely. I'm so in love with the detailing. I'll bring it closer to the screen here so that you can see. And it's, oh, it's actually not bone. Oh dear. Oh dear. Anywho, so I'll show you guys that in a second, but I'm gonna show you two outfits that I would put together with that skirt. Oh, I really, really hate when this happens. When you buy a load of clothes and you think, oh, well, I'm going to send half of them back anyway. This is always my problem. I always buy things that I really, really love and I end up keeping them. And then, then I've just got a ton of clothes that I just barely ever wear just because I think they, they look cute. Oh, I need somebody just to send me it for free. Please, 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 please. This suit has really shocked me because I was... I was really sceptical and I really thought that when I get it, it's not going to fit me. I just never really buy things like that because because of my body shape, I just think, oh, there's no point because it's going to be too big in this place and too small in the other. But it actually looks nice. If I was to wear this out, then I would probably pair it with a black leather coat and just have that over my shoulders sort of thing. Or maybe my denim jacket, I'm not too sure. The black denim jacket, I would probably just piece it with that and that would look really cute. And then just wear some heels with that or some boots. And that would be my outfit complete and a nice crossbody snakeskin bag because I'm really... So let me know if you do like this. Did you think it was gonna look like this on me before I tried it on? I really didn't. I don't think it would look anything as good as it does now. So I am really happy with it. I'm gonna move on to the next piece and I hope you really like what else I've got to show you guys. White bandeau top. The first thing that I noticed when I took it out of the bag was the quality. It is poor, it's so terrible. And the fact that it's actually um, eight pounds originally, the discount price that they've got on their website at the moment, which is 40% off. I was expecting for a bandeau top, which I could literally make myself if I had a sewing machine, I was expecting something a lot better than this. To me, this is not eight pounds worth of material. Like you could buy upholstery material for this price and it'd be so much thicker. So I wasn't very impressed by the fact that it's see-through. And if I stretch it like this, you can you can see my hand behind it. It's just so like, say if you're a girl that can go sort of like go commando, not wear a bra, it's not really suitable because it's gonna be completely see-through. So with this, I'm 100% going to have to wear a bra. I'm gonna send it back anyway. It's not even Primark quality, which I find is really, really terrible. So I'm really not happy with this. I'm still gonna wear it for this haul, but I'm gonna be sending it back just because it's 2019. We don't want see-through bra tops. Thank you very much. It's a daytime top. We don't want it to be see-through. I've got this on now, just as I expected it was see-through, but I do actually really like how it looks with this skirt. So I would wear these two pieces together. However, I will be wearing one that's got a lot better quality. This, I can't. In the bin, bye. See ya. Here I've got a long sleeve velvet bodycon dress and it has a v-neck at the front, which I really love that sort of detailing and I think that looks nice on my body type. I'm really liking the quality of this material actually. That's the one thing that I quite like is that they sew everything really lovely on here and sometimes when I get things from other places like Pretty Little Thing or Misguided, the, the sewing is not doing very well. You can tell it's with five of them done in 10 minutes sort of thing. You can tell that the, the uh, stitching is really terrible. However, look at that, that's how it should be. There's no, it makes me feel confident that my dress isn't gonna rip. Love the detailing. This color looks so good on darker skin tones as well. Tan skin colors too. I would definitely go for something like this. For Valentine's, I would say probably more for like a meal. And then if you're gonna go just like a bar afterwards and have a few drinks. This is something that I would wear. I'd wear a black shoe with this and a black crossbody bag. I think if I got body tape then it would probably work. And in which case I would wear this dress. But other than that I would not. It's too low and I don't really know who this is made for. Like because I think if you were more flat chested then you would just you would probably just have like your whole boob area out. So uh I was <laughs> 
It's not for me, unfortunately. I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. The colour is beautiful, but the comfort level from this is not okay. I'm not enjoying it. And I wouldn't wear it out. I couldn't have a dance in it. In the bin. See ya. Bye. The last thing that I got for this haul is this Sweetheart Bodycon bodysuit. And look how big it is. Look how big it is. What on earth is this? It is huge. Ridiculous. Like, oh. and this is supposed to be a size UK 12 US 8. Honestly, when it's stretchy material, you make it smaller. You should know this. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't even feel like putting it on. But I will do for you guys and I'm probably just gonna pair it with one of the skirts that I got from the collection. I'm really not impressed with this and I feel like I've ended it on such a bad note. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by this top. I was saying that I felt like it looks really big and really stretched out and it looks like it's probably not going to fit me but it actually fits me really nicely. I was thinking it actually looks like a paper bag but it's stuck quite nicely to my skin. It's not too tight. It just fits me in like a smooth hugging way. I don't feel like I need to pull any areas or it's like it's not like tight in certain places which I think is really good. I just would say this top part up here I don't really like how it sits on my shoulders but not everything's going to be perfect about an outfit. The material's alright. It's a lot thicker than the bandeau top there's that what do you think with this skirt as well would you pair it with this skirt or would you pair it with something else maybe just jeans and make it a little bit more casual and tone it down or would you wear it like this for valentine's i feel like for valentine's this is quite cute if you wear some necklaces and just like some trainers or something and go to a, like a really firm casual date that's something i would do so overall i would say i do like this top i actually think i might keep it it's quite flattering for my figure at first it's not gonna look good on me it's not it's not a good piece for me so sometimes when you get things in it and you get it out I'm really shocked by it and that's what happened with this one so thumbs up for this top let me know which one is your favourite outfit from this collection that I've shown you guys today. And I just want to say thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I really enjoyed making this for you guys. And if you want to see more things like this, don't forget to comment down below. Have a little chat with me. I'm always there and I'm always going to respond to anything that you put. And I'll always like make a conversation with you guys. I love to know who's watching my videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button too. Leave a like on this video and share with all your friends and family and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!